What's good, y'all? Shout out to Notification Gang for hitting the like button. And if you didn't start yet, y'all, but ones in it, I appreciate you anyway. So on, um, depending on when I drop this video, man, I was doing another video. I was downloading, I should say, another video of an African woman. And while that video, because it was a pretty long video, I was waiting for that video to download. I was scrolling down, and then this video was like the immediate follow-up. And then the title caught my eye, African Style, How to Get Married and Divorced in a Year. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, what, what What? the hell is it? That, that's African Style? I got to hear this. So uh, so let's get into it, y'all. We got we to gotta hear this. Make sure y'all drink water, man. Y'all out here smelling like... Smelling like, smelling like. That's what y'all out here smelling like. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Annoyance. As I'm trying to tell you guys the story of this marriage that is definitely done. So anyway, y'all. She just locked the door. How to get married and divorced in a year. African style. Let me give you that. If you don't know African custom or African tradition... African women are not raised to ever believe in divorce. When you get married, you die. You die there. You understand? You die there. And if you don't, you're seen as a worthless woman. You're seen as a half-assed woman. Your husband can beat you, and your husband can beat you senseless if you leave your weak bitch. That's African culture. I got married to my husband. And mind you, I didn't even want to get married to an African man. I really wanted to. I didn't even think I was getting married. Period. Honestly, I never saw that for myself. I never saw that for myself. I grew up in a household where. My hold on, hold on, real quick before she tells us about where she grew up in, ma'am. That's that, fellas. I should say. Let me talk to y'all, boys. That was the first red flag. She said, I didn't want to marry first. She said, I didn't want to marry an African man. So who did you want to marry? Uh, a non-African man, a Caucasian, Hispanic, Asian, whatever the case may be. And then she follows up by saying, I didn't want to get married, period. So then why did you get married? And the African style, you know, and, and real quick, y'all, uh, if I remember, I put the eye at the top. But I've told y'all the story about me. Uh, I've dated multiple African chicks. I've dated um the, the who, who used to be my baby. I ain't going to hold y'all. She was my baby. Uh, the chick from Cameroon told y'all, but the other chick I dated that was from Egypt told the other chick that was from Nigeria, and again, a, a, another one that was my baby. Um, you know what I'm saying? But like the Cameroon chick, honestly, probably was 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 honestly was my baby. She had a, she had a son, whatever case may be, it is what it is. Uh, but and then the other young lady, excuse me, y'all from from damn Nigeria, I told y'all about. She was in uh, she was going. I, I can never remember. I think it was pharmaceutical studies. Like she was getting her doctorate in pharmaceutical medicine or something like that, like creating pills or whatever the case may be, whatever, whatever. Um, so I've dated multiple African women that's from Africa, like had to come here as an international student. Not know, oh, okay, never been in Africa, but I'm claiming to be African type of stuff. No, Afri an actual African woman. And a lot of their core values, a lot of their, um, the way that they date, it's serious. They date with intent to get married. And a lot of them tell them straight up, like a lot of like the most recent African girl that I was with, a Nigeria girl, she was trying to get me. We went on like maybe two days and she was trying to push me to meet her damn daddy. I'm like, yo, hold on, slow down. Like, yeah, everything's going great right now. That was my little baby. I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, yeah, everything's going great right now, but we need to doubt this bad. Let's figure some things out. Let's do this, let's do that, blah, 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 blah. Be that as it may, everything, you know, the chips fell the way they fell, and it is what it is. Whatever. Um, but anyway, fellas, that those those are red flags because if a woman tells you, assuming she said this. If a woman tells you, hey, listen, I don't, I'm not, I don't see myself marrying an African man, and you're African, you need to leave. If a woman tells you, I don't see myself getting married, period, and you have the intent of dating to get married, you need to leave. That was the first red flag. What the hell is she talking about? So let's get into what she said. She's about to talk about how she grew up and all the other dumbass nonsense. So let, let's let's hear it. My father was super abusive. He married my mom when she was 14 cheated on her abused her kids and she never left because oh they have a bunch of kids she just wanted so badly to be in a two-parent household because that's another african thing like you have to be in a two-parent household it just shows that you're just so normal not knowing that a lot of african kids who come from two parents household are fucked up i mean so fucked up hence my husband and myself now i'm not telling you guys this thing because i'm saying that like 
I don't have issues. Oh, I have my issues, but at least me, I've been to therapy. I don't fight my demons and tie them and put them in the back. I don't put them in the backyard. You understand? Mm. My husband, he didn't even know he had demons till he met me. In African culture, if your husband abuses you, you stay. Look at David and Chioma. African women are raised to believe that abuse is how you know you're married. If your husband isn't abusing you or treating you like shit, are you married? But as long as he buys you Gucci, Fendi, Prada, you're married. It's okay. You can stay. Okay. My husband and I, my husband's younger than me a little bit, and we got married after three months of dating. And it was beautiful at first until I met my in-laws. Okay, first of all, I, I just, 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 I feel so stupid right now. I just realized it says part one. So now I got to go back and find part two. But whatever, let, let, let's her finish this because I got something I want to say. I'm going to leave it at that. Come back to part two. Yeah, yeah. So uh, again, let, let me let me say this. Um, I'm extremely confused. Ma'am, are you trying to say that your husband is abusing you? Is that what you're, you're alluding to? Because you kind of switched gears so quickly and shifted to... Oh, everything was going good until I met my my husband's in laws, and I'm gonna tell you on part two. Well, what well what happened? You talking about you grew up watching your your dad assault your mother, and I'm sorry that you had to grow up seeing that because that's not right. Um, you said that you grew up watching that, and that's why you don't want to do this, and you think that you have to settle for ABC to three, y'all. There is so much trauma in 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 relationships in in families. And all these types of things. And this is the reason why I tell y'all, man, if you are not mentally prepared for whatever, you don't need to be in a relationship. Now you're stuck. Well, not really stuck, stuck, but now you're in this predicament with a with married to a man, I would imagine, that wants to be with you, I would assume. But you guys ended up getting married too fast because you were trying to hold on to traditions instead of building up a foundation with your man and your woman or whatever the case may be. These are the types of things that happen. How to get married and divorced in a year. I, you know, I, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not understanding. It looks like your husband is outside. You locked him outside the car. You're sitting here recording and posting this damn stupid ass damn video. Why not put the phone down, unlock the goddamn car, tell your man, hey, come sit down, baby. We need to talk about what's going on and try to get back on the same page. But no, you are poisoned by this westernized mentality, and that's why you're carrying on the way that you're carrying on. Now, that's a that's that's that. As far as the abuse thing, it's crazy. Uh, I didn't like that she said, "Oh, most Africans grew up seeing their parents abusing each other." And da, 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 da. I've never heard, and I've dated multiple African women. I have never tell her, had had them heard anything about their father being abusive to them, let alone to his wife. I've met two of their fathers. Very, very nice, great gentleman, all this other thing. Obviously, I don't know everything about the man because I don't know him like that. But so far from what I gather, the, the African chick that I was dating at the time, I was dating sleep and or sleeping with at the time, they love their father. They you you couldn't you could tell them nothing about their damn daddy. <laughs> and those are the things that happen. So for her to make a crazy ass general statement and, and fellas pay attention. Uh for her to make this crazy ass statement trying to make it general is very telling and i say this all the time y'all boys y'all and pay attention this these are the things that happen these are traumatic experience that these women go through and they tie everything down together and they try to make it seem like everything is so goddamn extreme oh it's not an african in marriage unless your husband is abusive that's how you know he married he's love he loved you and that's how you know you're married what are you talking about are african men are the only one that's abusive or abusing their women I'm going to completely acknowledge the fact that what she was talking about as far as abuse, again, ma'am, assuming that everything you're saying is 100% true and accurate, then ma'am, I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to tell you, assuming that anybody else said, said this, ma'am, I'm sorry that happened. You should not have, uh, first of all, went through that. Your mother should not have went through that. The fact that you had to see that as a child, very, very sorry. You should not have seen that. You should not have been around that, been in that damn situation. But since you are, it's unfortunate, and I'm glad that she was able to get, like she said, she said she got the mental help for it, so that's good. Great. I would suggest you go back and get further more help, because it seems like that trauma is now starting to come back, and it's starting to goddamn fester again. That's what I'm gathering so far from it. 
I'm always open to the possibility of being wrong. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? But that, but that, that's what I'm gathering so far from it. For her to make these cra this crazy ass general statement about oh African and this, that, or third, blah, 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 I've never heard from coworkers. I have coworkers that's African, women that's African. And they tell me like they have a great relationship with their father. They have a great relationship with their husband. So maybe it was just you. The man that you selected was not the man you were supposed to select. Making this video instead of sitting you and your husband down and trying to get find common ground. And if you can't find common ground, then it is what it is, ma'am. Take that L and keep it moving. But don't do this damn stupid ass damn video. Come on now. Embarrassing your husband. Again, what does anything that she was saying have to do with the damn topic at hand? I'll have to go back and see if I can find part two. Um, I ain't gonna make no promises, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But I will try my best to go back and find part two for you guys so you can go ahead and get that. Depending on how good or bad this video does. If this, this video does do good, then I'll go back and find part uh, part two. Um, yeah, so let, let, let's do that. Uh, but yeah, I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. And until next time, please, man, be safe for her, cuz.